Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a J. Ariona video, and today we're going to be discussing the problem, the big issue that's going on with Blizzard, more specifically Activision Blizzard, and what I feel uh, can be done about it, and if there is anything that can be done about it, which I don't think there is much that can be done about it. But we'll talk about the first topic, and that is microtransactions, and as you can tell by the thumbnail for this video, uh, it's more specifically the mount transactions that uh, the Blizzard store offers and how that until Activision's influence was uh, present there was no microtransaction store there was no uh, anything of that sort to uh, give them uh, that extra revenue and I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the uh, the real money um, transaction in that in that sense because it's mounts it's pets it's stuff that really in general is not taking that much development time away from the uh, the game itself but herein lies the uh, the caveat the big uh, thing about it is that it is taking away resources at the same time while having the same horse uh, remodeled and sold on the store uh, as the Pegasus mount or whatever, um, or the uh, the Wing Guardian, like those mounts were technically in game beforehand, and then they were just reskinned and given the ability to fly, so that they served the purpose for flying, so that high levels will want to buy these. Typically, if there's a ground mount that doesn't have the ability to fly, they're probably not going to sell that mount. Um, it's just simple as that because most people. When they have a mount, they want it to be versatile for all their content, so when flying is unlocked, they're going to want to use it for flying in, uh, in, in the, uh, the current content, and then they're, wanna gonna, they're gonna want to use it for flying in uh, other content. So it's more of a matter of fact that these mounts should be attainable in-game. And technically now, because of the uh, way that the... Uh, the WoW token works, you can buy these game, these items from in-game. You technically can cash out this currency for Blizzard uh, currency, and you'll be able to buy stuff like this in-game. It is not inherently only real money. If you are someone who is able to make money in the game of World of Warcraft, if you make a lot of gold, you can technically buy these things within game currency that is transferred into real money currency now i guess the big thing would be that okay it, it's only currency within blizzard but they blizzard can't tell you we're going to give you money for the gold because that's why would they buy the game's gold that they make like it's it doesn't make any sense but if you use that gold buy a token you're spending it within the company. The company's losing nothing when they do that, and they still gain your money for having a subscription. Now, some people can handle their subscription without having to resort to real money now because of the fact that they make so much gold, but they're still spending time in the game, which drives uh, retention time up. It's, it's simple. So, is there a problem with Blizzard in the fact that there's real money, uh exchange no not really but at the same time you have to understand that even if it's 10 minutes out of the development time that's 10 minutes that could have been used to make two or three quests that could have made a quest sometimes hundreds of hours go into a simple quest sometimes hundreds of hours go into the design of a mount or a armor set uh with the recent addition of the sale where uh, they had retired a bunch of items, that is not them saying that they're never going to have those items again. That's saying these items aren't selling. It, we don't we don't have enough sales on these items, so we need to give a falsified information. We need to falsely say that these are going to be gone, and then they'll be gone. So, you know, <laughs> it's it's a little bit of call me, a little bit of call B. It's hard for you to defend a company that seems like they're being pressured by the other company that is partnered with them. Remember, Activision Blizzard is different from 
Activision and Blizzard. Activision and Blizzard is the parent company. They are merged. Blizzard and Activision are merged. There's not. It's not that they were acquired. They merged. Now, Blizzard still tries to do stuff on their end, and Activision still tries to do stuff on their end. But at the end of the day, they are the same company. So anybody who thought that they're going to get out of the deal like Bungie did, Bungie was just a developer that was being published by Activision. They had no... They're not merged with them. They're not. They're not partners with them. They're just simply paid to make a game. They were paid to make Destiny. And now that the Activision has handed the the Blizzard, uh, sorry, sorry. Now that Activision has handed the reins of Destiny to Bungie fully, I fully believe that that game is going to see some vast improvements. But at the same time, do like. People are thinking, well, if if Bungie can do it, Blizzard, you can do it too. Bungie's just a smaller company than you are. If they can get out of it, you can too. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Unfortunately, Blizzard and Activision are together in this endeavor. And I saw a Taliesin and Nevitel video where basically they said what I was thinking. Is that Activision, while they have some say and some sway over Blizzard as a company when they come to when it comes to World of Warcraft and their other games. Blizzard made the decision to take away tier sets. Blizzard made the decision to make Azerite armor the way it was. Blizzard had the decision to you know string out quests and release schedules the way that they have been so far. But you have to think is Activision in the corner saying, hey, you've got to rush this along. Hey, you've got to do this. Hey, let's let's do this. Let's uh, see if this works. Um, in our other game, we don't have a, a tier set system, and it, it's working fine. That is stuff that happens daily in that company, probably. And it's not much we can change it. So is there an issue with everything that I've said? There's issues, there are good parts, there's bad parts. If you want to make a difference, use your wallet, okay? Use your wallet. If you don't agree with the microtransactions in the store, don't buy. Simple as that. If you don't want to support a game, don't play it. But if you sit there and think that you're entitled to anything from this company... I'm sorry, you're not. They make this game of their own volition, and the decisions that they make in that game are theirs alone. Is there a little bit of a bug from Activision? Probably. But Activision inherently isn't an evil company. I don't think that they have evil intentions. What I do think is that they are very profit-focused, and if they start seeing a product not uh, perform well, then they make changes to it. If we vote with our wallet, if we say, Blizzard, I want more content in the game, I want a better expansion, then we shouldn't have bought the expansion. We knew what we were getting into with BFA. We knew what we were getting into with Warlords. People are saying that Warlords of Draenor had better content than Battle for Azeroth. I think those people are pretty much <laughs> insane. Warlords of Draenor, I wasn't still sub to it. I, I wouldn't have been making videos right now. But in BFA, I am engaged. I'm still leveling characters. You see in the background of this video, I'm leveling a monk. Yeah, I have a level 100 monk, but I decide to start over. I'm having some identity crisis when it comes to the character I want to play. And that's not Blizzard's fault. That's my fault. I'm having some identity crisis as to where I want to be. Do I still want to be with Order of the Black Lotus? At the moment, I'm having some apprehensions because of the War Mode system. I love War Mode. I keep War Mode on. I don't like turning it off because at the end of the day, I started on a PvP server and I like PvP. What I don't like is imbalance. What I don't like is the fact that War Mode currently, if you go into War Mode, 
and your one faction, there are ten other players on that other side that are going to gank you. They're going to camp your corpse. It needs to be balanced out somehow. I don't know how they're going to manage to do that, but they need to do that somehow. Anyway, guys, I've ranted long enough. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one, and hopefully it'll be a better topic. And uh, I hope you like these kind of topic videos because this is how I want to focus the channel. And it's not just going to be WoW. It's going to be other content. But anyway, if you liked it, give it a like, smash the like button, and uh, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.